Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla, where you watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our brief graphical overview of the new Shoei X14 Marquez 4 graphic, available at Revzilla.com. New for spring of 16, this is the Marquez 4 on a Shoei X14, which is the race thoroughbred. What's unique about this helmet is this was the inaugural graphic for the 2016 MotoGP season that Marquez wore in Qatar. And now we're seeing it rolled out in the same spring. That's pretty cool. Usually we wait a year for these type of rollouts. Now remember, if you're looking at the X14, this is an intermediate oval race fit, three pounds, 10 ounces, Snell and DOT helmet. This is meant to be in the tuck. It has the customizable interior, it has the upgraded stabilization scheme. Again, we saw the redefinition of the X14 in 2015. Again, one of these apex predators when you're taking a helmet to the race or taking a helmet to the track. Watch our detail breakdown video. You also heard me call out its head shape, intermediate oval, a little bit longer front to back, and it's gonna have a tighter fit through the cheeks. This is a race fit. Remember, there is some adjustability in the crown of the head, keep that in mind, but it's not super narrow, it's not super round. It's going to be that slightly longer front to back, typical fit that we see for North America. Use a size chart, don't be bashful about returns. Remember, we ship for free over 39 bucks. As always, I'd love to click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Marquez 4. Now, if we look at the guts of the helmet, it's gonna be this fluoro red, which is different than a Ducati red, it's different than a Repsol orange. Again, it's kind of the mixture of red meets Repsol orange, really kind of firmly baked here. It pops, it's slightly fluorescent. I actually think it's a very cool red. And you tie it in with this angry ant here on the back. Some of this strong and small little ant that kind of seems to get in the way of some of the Italians, but it is effective for what it does. If we look at the ant, it is going to be silver, black, and a mixture of gray, and there's a slight reflectivity baked into this ant that has a little bit more of a menacing style abdomen now that they've knifed it out. So again, we look at the ant here, it's kind of the trademark from Marquez. The other really cool thing about this helmet is that it has this 93 on the side. So you see the Tron version, the Labyrinth version. It's got this inspiration of how this pulls it in, creates a 3D effect, but it's capped off with the 93 that's gonna be baked in. Very cool, cool shadowing, great gradient, tying in with the black on the top and bottom, adds a nice fast sweep to it, and really offsets with almost a very unique 3D design with this, uh, what I would consider the strong ant of Marquez on top. Now, if we look at the front, it's a little bit more simple and it becomes more complex as you sweep to the back. But remember, it is a windswept design meant to be fast standing still. It's certainly, if you're a Marquez fan out there, it is going to carry a lot of that race DNA that we see from him with one of the cooler graphics I've seen them come out with on an X14 and his inaugural graphic for 2016. So the next step in your journey is click the info button, your mobile, your desktop device, visit the product detail page at revzilla.com, watch the detail breakdown video on this X14. This is north of $700. Please watch me take it apart. Please understand how this helmet works and what it's gonna do when you take it to the track and what we'd improve upon it. This is just a brief graphical overview. Remember, read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. Now, keep in mind we're gonna ship for free over 30 and bucks. You wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our brief graphical overview. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with my opinion and maybe some commentary on some of the shenanigans of MotoGP and the best of the Moto Universe on our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.